Hello, and welcome to the first installment of the Weirdo Records Record Roundup. Um, uh, me, Angela, and Mark, we're going to um, tell you about this week's latest, yes. <laughs> our favorites, uh, and we'll be doing it regularly, um, and this one will probably be rough, and then maybe it will get smoother as it goes along, but um, uh, it's just a little way for us to bring the store to you. Um, and, uh, courtesy of the Boston Hassle. Yep. Okay, so first up, um, I believe that Mark, who is right here, wants to tell us about this tape. Tell yes. me about this tape. We are listening to Arkham Foam, a resident of the White House new solo tape, The Foam Doesn't Fall Far From The Shore. It's actually his first solo tape in a good couple of years. Um, a lot of solo meditations of tape and... You know, everything from just, you know, banjo to uh, little tape cut-ups uh, featuring Andy Allen of Goril ex Gorillatoss fame and then Morgan mm -hmm. Shaker, who is also a re resident of White House. A really good mix. Tell these people who um, Arkham Foam and the White House are, if they don't know. Oh, yeah, Arkham Foam and the White House. We are a uh, artist residence in JP. We have done a lot of uh, events around the Boston community, and we strive to uh, bring as much wild stuff to Boston as possible. And, awesome. And uh, Arkham Foam has been probably one person to look at as, as one of the heads of the White House family. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, just a really awesome tape. And I think this one that we have for sale here comes with a secret bonus of one of his first solo tapes. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. But I can't recommend it enough. It bubbles, it sparks, it tweaks, it goes all over the spot. What did he put in the tape? He put lavender in there. I don't know if he wants you to burn it or stick it up your nose, but uh, it definitely brings the smell of vision, which uh, is something <laughs> that if you know foam, he uh, really likes to bring all sights and smells, which maybe the bubbly little eye that is taped on there is the physical part Very of it. Very nice. But can't recommend it enough, and I, I think uh, it is scheduled to possibly come out on vinyl sometime soon. Awesome. Yep. We forgot to talk about the chain letter. Tell yes. me about the chain letter. As an amendum, there is a, t a version of this for sale at the shop, but uh, the way Arkham Foam did this is he made 30 tapes and basically sent them, did an online post and was like, hey, I've got this new tape, and then a lot of people wanted it more than he thought he could send out, so he decided to do a chain letter to where he basically take a, took a one-sided tape, sent it to all these people with very uh, you know specific instructions to listen to it and then do a uh, either a verbal response, kind of what they thought of it, or sound or anything, and then find someone that also wanted it and send it along. So, uh, like we said, there is this copy here, or uh, if you can find Arkham Foam on Facebook or talk to someone that has one of the chain letters, uh, it's a really awesome experiment that Foam has really uh, curated and things like this don't happen often, so you should get on it. Go. Okay. Okay, we'll switch over to um, this Gerson record by the 60s band Shock. This record right here. This band is from Madrid. They're basically a hard rock band. Um, they didn't make many recordings, um, and they didn't have much money, and they were asked to uh, make a jingle for a local real estate company. And um, in the, uh, about 1970 or so. And at that time, studio time was an expensive project, so they had enough money and enough time that they could make a whole record during the recording of the session recording for the jingle. So they just did, they made a demo by themselves. And they didn't really have an engineer or know what they were doing at all. They didn't have, couldn't hire any extra musicians. And at the time in Spain, um, you know, like most of the stuff that was popular in Spain was very R&B oriented. Tom Jones is really popular. The animals are really popular. And so there's a, most people's records have a lot of horn arrangements and lots of strings, and it's very R&B heavy. And these guys probably would have done that if they had known how, but they didn't. So instead, they made this funny demo record, and it has a really unusual sound. Um, it's very trebly and very echoey, and their guitar distortion doesn't sound like any record that I've ever heard, so I think it's kind of cool. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, my favorite record in the past, I don't know, X number of days, however many it was, is the Shock record on Garrison. Awesome. So, this has been 
The Weirdo Record Roundup Volume 1 for exclusively the BostonHassle.com. Weirdo Records is located in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and we're very glad to have you with us every week. Thank you so much, and this is Mark and Angela from Weirdo saying goodbye. Bye-bye. Awesome.